Hello everybody, welcome back to the channel. I am Frankly FM84 and a big thank you for joining me on another episode of the potential superstars of FM22. In the last episode, we showed you Tino Liveramento and how he progresses in the five years that we have seen in FM22. Today's player is an old favourite of the channel and a player from FM21 that became a bit of a worldie. So let's have a look at Jens Kajust. He is a 21 year old Swedish international playing five times for his national team, three times for the under 21s and he's yet to score his first international goal. So he starts the game contracted at FC Midgetland and he is valued between 4.7 million and 14 million pounds. He starts on a 12,000 pound per week contract which only runs until 2023, so two years left on that. And in terms of his positions, he is a defensive midfielder, midfield centre, can also play defender, wing back and midfielder on the right. So let's have a little look at his attributes. You can see in the technicals, he has quite good stats for a central midfielder. They are the core stats that he needs. So dribbling of 11, first touch of 11, free kick taking 11, heading 12, passing 13, Tackling 13 and technique of 13. His mentors though, he has aggression of 16. He has anticipation of 12, composure of 14, decisions of 12, determination 14, off the ball 13, teamwork 15 and work rate of 17, which means he's not going to stop in the middle of the park. Physicals could probably do with a little bit of improvement, but he has again a, a good core stats for what you need. He has balance of 15, jumping reach of 13, Pace of 13, stamina of 14, strength of 15. He stands at 6 foot 2 and weighs 12 stone 1 pounds. When we look at his media description, he's described as a hard working midfielder. His player traits are dictates tempo. So, a bit of a rough diamond again to start off FM22. We are going to jump five years forwards and see how he develops in game and see what he turns out like in the future. As always though, before we reveal exactly what Jens Kajus turns into in FM22, if you're at this point of the video and you're enjoying the content so far, please don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button to help the channel out. It's been a big help from everybody who has done that across the past couple of months. All the support I've received on the channel has been fantastic. If you're one of those people that has done that already, we're going to jump forwards five years into the future and show you what happens with Jens Kajus. So then, as promised, we have jumped five years into the future. You can see it's now the 1st of July 2026 and Jens Kajust is a Villarreal player. So let's have a look at him. He is a 26-year-old now, played 31 times with one goal for the Swedish national team. Villarreal value him at 5.2 to £15.5 million pounds, and he's now on a £31,000 per week contract until 2030. So that probably means a four-year deal he has just moved to La Liga. Positionally, he's still a defensive midfielder, midfielder centre with a D, W, B, M on the right. So let's have a little look at his stats and see how he has improved across the five years. In terms of his technicals, nothing really has changed. He has got dribbling, marking, passing, tackling and technique still. Probably not developed as much as I thought he would have been there. Maybe a slight downgrade on his FM21. In terms of his mentors, still good aggression and work rate. He has got some good rounded stats here with composure of 14, determination of 14, off the ball 13, position 13, teamwork of 15, and vision of 12. And in terms of his physicals, he has acceleration 13, agility 13, balance of 16, natural fitness 13, pace 14, stamina 14, strength of 15. You can see that he is still 6 foot 2 and he now weighs 11 stone 13 pounds so he's lost a little bit of weight in the five years. Looking at his description on the right hand side, you can see his media description is now just a midfielder, but his player traits have come through. He gets forward whenever possible, he dictates the tempo of the game, and looks for a pass rather than attempting to score. So a quick look in the right hand corner shows that he has been playing first team football, so I'm not sure whether it's just a development thing at Midgetland or whether it could be that you need to sign him and develop him yourself. But looking at the five years that we simmed, starting in 21-22, Played 19 games and had a 6.73 average rating. In 22-23, 21 games with a 6.86 average rating. 23-24, 29 games, 3 goals, 4 assists, 1 player of the match for a 6.97 average rating. 24-25, 
28 games, 2 assists and a 6.85 average rating. And then in his last season at Midget Land, he started to pick up, but only played 17 games, 2 goals, 1 assist, 2 player of the matches and a 7.11 average rating. And then the money move to Villarreal, only a £6.75 million transfer, so that's probably a bargain. And he has played 9 games with 1 assist and a 7.03 average rating. So overall, looking at his stats, I don't think he's developed as much as I would have liked. In FM21, he goes on to be an absolute world superstar. Maybe in FM22, he has taken a backward step. Or like I said, there might be problems with him not getting out of midget land quickly enough and then developing in terms of playing with better players in better facilities. But still, I think for 6.75 million, you can pick him up, plug him into your team, and he will do a job for you. No problems. So then, that's the player profile complete on Jens Kajust. As I said, he was a favourite of mine in FM21, and I profiled him, and he did become a bit of a worldie. Maybe a backward step here a little bit in FM22, although I think he can probably develop further than what you have seen here. 6.75 million is a fair price, and you're going to get yourself a bit of a bargain. So again, if you're this far into the video, you've enjoyed the content, please don't forget to hit the subscribe and like button to help the channel out. But for this one, that's another wrap on another episode of the potential superstars of FM22. I'll catch you on the next one.